All right, so we've had a couple really, well, more than warm days. They've, mm -hmm. they've been hot. They've been pretty hot. So it's going to cool down, but it's not going to really cool off too much, it sounds like. Maybe it's just perfect. I think it'll get to perfect, but in my personal opinion, that would be Wednesday. And I know a lot of folks would prefer, say, tomorrow, Wednesday, it, we will cool down slowly but surely. In fact, tonight, it's going to take a long time to cool off from the high temperatures. We're going to stay in the upper 50s overnight. On the waterfront, it's a beautiful evening, clear skies, and your temperature is still soaring. We had a high temperature at SeaTac today of 87 degrees which is 10 degrees above the high of 77. Some spots were 15 degrees above their average high, but nowhere near the record of 100 degrees set in 1994. Let's go ahead and see those high temperatures, which range from 80 degrees in Bellingham, 82 for Port Angeles, even at 80 for Forks. Well, the coast is definitely clearing off tomorrow, but we're going to stay on the warmer side inland. We might even get close to 87 for Seattle at SeaTac, but it looks like a few degrees are going to get knocked off the high temperature from today. So 90 for Olympia, 91 in Chehalis, that's definitely a hot day, all right? Clear night tonight, upper 50s to the low 60s for low temperatures, or at least temperatures that arrive by the time we get to the sunrise, which is coming in at, uh, I wrote this down so I won't forget it, 535 in the morning. And then going on to what's happening, high pressure is going to be sliding a little bit away from us tomorrow. It's going to get a little weaker as these disturbances pass us through Canada. So as that happens, we get a stronger onshore wind that will bring the cool air off the Pacific Ocean. And we'll start with those cloudy mornings on Wednesday and Thursday, even on Friday. Now tomorrow, though, no morning clouds, just sunshine. Highs in the mid 70s to the north, 84 for Seattle over towards Bellevue. Still in the low to mid 80s all the way through the Cascade foothills, but a little farther south will be in the low 80s, 82 for Yelm and for Chehalis in the 60s on the coast. A big difference in the temperatures on the coastline because you're going to get the onshore wind first. Triple digit heat east of the Cascades, just downright hot east of the Cascades. And the seven day forecast will call for the morning clouds to cool us off Wednesday, Thursday, back to the low to mid 70s. Friday, still have quite a bit of cloud cover to start the day, but we should get to the low 70s at least. And Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna start the warm up all over mid to upper 70s to near 80 degrees.